What's up, Navigating Academia family? This is your buddy and personal academic mentor, Dr. J. Phoenix Singh, coming at you to be able to talk once again about the importance of publishing academic research and some really interesting data when it comes to exactly how much money in terms of staff hours is worked by professors in the United States, the UK, and China. Out of all the hundreds of countries in the world, we're just going to focus on those three today. And let me tell you, how many hours is being spent is going to blow your mind in terms of doing peer review and the amount of money that's being spent because keep in mind peer reviewers don't get paid for virtually any journals so how much money is quote unquote being lost during this process now obviously peer review an essential piece of the publication process what happens is that you take a manuscript for anything for a peer-reviewed journal or for an edited book from a leading publisher and what's going to happen is that that article or that book chapter is going to get blinded sent out to some other experts in your same field and so these are what's referred to as peer reviewers because they're peers and they are reviewing your work and subsequently what happens is that they're going to give you some recommendations about how you can improve the piece and they're also going to give whoever's in charge an editor-in-chief associate editors guest editors and so forth Forth, some advice in terms of what they think should be done with the article. For example, should it be accepted for publication with minor or major reviews? Should it be revised and resubmit where the authors get it back without it being accepted? They have to make big, big, big changes and then resubmit it, or is it just a straight up reject? So that's the peer review process. Like I mentioned, usually people don't get paid for this. Why not? Because the idea is that it would interfere with the provision of an objective and truly useful in the scientific manner review of the work. There's been a number of different initiatives over the last 20 or more years to try to be able to actually pay academics for their time spent during the peer review process, but it really is a contentious issue. So today I found this article for us. It's published in Research Integrity and Peer Review in 2021. It's an open access article. I'm confident that they probably had to pay an open access fee just to be able to get it in there. Um, and this is by Axel and colleagues. And the name of this research article is a billion dollar donation, estimating the cost of researchers' time spent on peer review. Just reading the abstract, let alone reading the entire article, which I do recommend you do, uh, you can, because this is open access, you can get a copy of this article. Just take the title here that's on your screen, copy and paste it in quotation marks into Google, and you're going to be able to download a free PDF of it if you're interested, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the abstract together. We'll read it, then we'll talk about it. Here we go. The amount and value of researchers' peer review work is critical for academia and journal publishing. However, this labor is under-recognized, its magnitude is unknown, and alternative ways of organizing peer review labor are rarely considered. So what these researchers did is that they took publicly available data and they estimated or made an estimate of researchers' time and the salary-based contribution to the journal peer review system. Keep in mind that there are literally tens if not hundreds of thousands of journals, uh, and there there are over 1.5 million journal articles that are published every single year, and this is only one type of publication, journal articles, let alone, like I said, things like peer-reviewed book chapters and so forth. Uh, so we're talking about a huge amount of pieces that need peer review annually. So what do they find? They said, we found that the total time reviewers globally worked on peer reviews was over 100 million hours in 2020, equivalent to over 15,000 years. So literally in one year, academics spent 15,000 years of their working hours alone on this. Now people usually think about, okay, how much are people working? Eh, like about eight hours a day, right? Okay, so essentially what we're talking about here, right, is that if, the, if this is eight hours a day and you extrapolate that, uh, we're talking about an epic number of hours, basically multiply that by three, so 45,000 years, right, in terms of working hours, is being spent in one year on only peer review, unpaid. The estimated monetary value of the, U of the time U.S., just U.S., based reviewers spent on reviews was over $1.5 billion. For China-based reviewers, the estimate was over $600 million, and for U.K.-based, close to over $400 million. US dollars. Guys, this is absolutely nuts. Billions of dollars getting spent 
uh, literally tens of thousands of years worth of work being spent. That is redonkulous. Now, if you did read the article, uh, what you're going to find is that they have some really cool tables and figures here in the piece. Uh, my favorite one here, I think, is on page four, yeah. Uh, and so this is kind of what they, uh, they end up finding, right? So the total number of hours um, of labor spent on reviewing only in 2020, that's it just in 2020, as you can see here in the bottom box, was 130,800,757 hours. Wow. And that's just peer reviewing. That's it. This has nothing to do with actually, you know, like the researchers themselves, you know, planning the research, doing the research, writing the manuscript, submitting it, responding to peer reviews, looking at galley proofs and uh, page proofs and so forth, uh, giving comments to the publisher, signing and submitting author information forms which get the copyright transfer. It has nothing to do with any of that. This is only peer review. And keep in mind that all these researchers doing this work, yes, sometimes the work is funded, but oftentimes it's not. And so what ends up happening is that this whole entire process is unpaid. And so salaries, in many cases, unless you're at a university where you can supplement your income in different ways, including things like getting grants or giving trainings, so on and so forth, this is a field where if you want to make a ton of money, academia is probably not for you. Uh, and yes, you are expected uh, as part of professional service, especially if you want to get tenured, to be actively peer reviewing for journals. And there are other videos on this channel to talk about how you can, by doing peer reviews, become uh, an editorial board member of one of your favorite journals or a journal that really is quite prominent in your field and this is a great way to be able to ensure that you get tenure, uh, that being part of your tenure package when you end up applying. And there are videos on the channel also about how to be able to prepare the best tenure application to be able to make sure or at least give yourself the max chance of getting tenure. So that's what I've got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Down below is the website you can go to to check out Publication Academy, which gives step-by-step -step tutorials on how to be able to publish, including things like time-saving templates, which are going to save you a buku amount of time. If you guys want to get in touch with me, you can always do that at the details that are down in the description box below at www.jphoenixing.com, and you're more than welcome to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me where we can talk about anything that you care to in the realm of academia. God bless you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.